Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Bottom of the deck, four pentacles. It's something that, ten of swords, you have to let go. Something that you just have to release. The king of wands taking action. And you guys, I'm about to really change up the, the readings. Um, I probably should just make an announcement about this. But a lot of you, you faithfully watch my channel. I really love and appreciate you guys. With this shift that's happening, my readings are about to... When I first came to YouTube, I did Zodiac readings and love readings. Um, my spiritual gift started to grow and develop. I started doing collective readings and people were just asking, do a collective, a collective, collective. And I switched and started doing collective readings because that was what the collective wanted me to do. I'm not really happy anymore doing these collective readings. I mean, I care more about love, light, healing, spiritual guidance. Um, and I've been saying this, many of you who watched for several weeks, several months, um, the drama, the, the, the old cycles, as your reader, I'm, I'm completely shifted out of that. I shifted out of it a long time ago, but I pick up the collective energies. But picking up the collective energy, it's a lot because I don't, I don't resonate with a lot of it, to be honest. So you guys will definitely see differences in the in the channel. Um, I just I'm just tired, to be honest. Judgment, yeah, it's time to make judgment. So you have the Ten of Swords, the King of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Judgment. <sighs> Ten of Swords, like that's how it's like deep side energy. You're at, something feels like you're hitting rock bottom. This could be you or you have a person around you. They're at rock bottom. But one thing about once you get to the Ten of Swords, what comes after the Ten of Swords is it's up. There, there, it, it can't get any worse. There's no more knives that can go in your back. There's no more betrayal. There's no more deception. Um, there's no more burnout. This right here is positioning you now to be this natural born leader. This could be um, this is a king of wands, could be male or female that is embodying this energy. But someone now is about to, I feel, aggressively take action after being just down, like down bad at their total wit's end. So again, there is a breakthrough that is happening. Someone has been holding on to something here, holding on to a secret, holding on to an illusion. And now it is time to finally admit defeat. And to surrender. Now, some people may say, I, you know, I'm not going to admit being defeated. But no, there's a situation here where there is nothing more that you can do. There's nothing more that you can do. There's nothing more that you can say. And that is sort of um, what I realized in some of the readings where... Um, Everybody is just at their wit's end. Like, I just can't do this anymore. The reading that I just uploaded, where I said, it's like the red pill book. It's literally, it's like a divine feminine energy that's like, I cannot do this. It doesn't matter if it's with the kids, the family, husband, fam, like whatever. Somebody's just like, whatever situation you're in, you just, you cannot do it anymore. And I can resonate with that too. It's just like something has, we just can't do this. And the King of Wands, it's like really taking action. The Ace of Cups. This is this is taking action and it's going to open you up to true love. But this Ace of Cups is for me, it's um it's psychic gifts development, it's awareness, it's emotional fulfillment, it's love, it's the love of of God. It's it's just love, it's an abundance of love. It could be a new child, a new business, it's something that makes you happy, especially with the three of pentacles here. Some of you it's gonna be some type of partnership or collaboration, um just something new, a team building. It's something that you're gonna do that is gonna finally help you step back into your own power after feeling like 
you just could not get out. And it's this limitless potential that you have to tap into in order for you to move forward. And we are moving forward into what it really is, is this awakening. This is a lot of judgment. It's like Scorpio energy. It's a lot of death, rebirth, transformation. It's a personal metamorphosis. But holding on to this shadow aspect of yourself where you've been feeling defeated, this defeat, what it's saying now is that it's time for you to just surrender. It's time for you to just realize you cannot do anything else here. You can't there. You cannot learn any more lessons here. You've exhausted all of your options here. This is either how you feel or someone around you feels like this. Someone is like, I just, I can't stay in this job anymore. I cannot stay in this particular apartment anymore. I've run out of all of my space. I cannot stay in this relationship anymore. I cannot wait on that person anymore. I, this co-parenting situation that does not have any kind of mediator, I cannot do it anymore. Like, I've, I've, this is the stuff I've been channeling. People are completely just fed up. And I think that it has a lot to do, like I said, with the retrograde energy, looking over like the last 10 years of your life and realizing, dang, I've been in the same spot. I've been doing the same thing. I've been in the same job. I've been working. I've been waiting for the same person. I've been running into the same type of spirit time after time. After, I cannot do it anymore. It's, that's all I'm getting. This is two days of the same message. I cannot do this. And it's like somebody is just, you, you're desperate for that light at the end of the tunnel to finally just see something, but it requires this shadow work and healing. There's something here that maybe you've been taught was, was bad or it was taboo that it's actually keeping you in the dark. And again, it's this limitless potential. The Queen of Swords, it's like you have to stand up and just say no more. Uh-uh. Not doing it, can't go. Because you have to go on. You have to go out into the world. As who you are, being happy, having wish fulfillment, confident, satisfied with yourself. And it doesn't matter about the drama. It's time for you to turn your back on the drama and say, I this isn't my my portion. It's not my problem. The people who don't like you, that's not your problem. The relationship that didn't work, it's not your problem anymore. It's not your problem. It's not your portion. All of this, ex this conflict in your environment. Some of you, it's like you have a person or you have a group of people. They're coming around you with all of their problems, all of their baggage. And right now, it's like you don't have the capacity to deal with this. Because right now, it's like God is trying to take you somewhere that is it's brand new. It's, it, it's happiness. It's peace. It's joy. And somebody here is so stressed out. Look at this, five, 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 five. <laughs> somebody is so stressed out because I feel like you've invested a lot in a place, a job, whatever the case is, you've invested a lot in the fact that now you're, you're like, dang, I got to turn away and leave something else. It's heartbreaking, but it's going to balance something out and allow you, wow, to have this. Wow. That's a message. <laughs> The lovers. And I literally just said that. I think it's even in the thumbnail of the video. It's like your karmic soulmate versus your life partner. It's do you want to have a job or do you want to have a career? Do you want to have a career or do you want to be an entrepreneur? You have to make this choice. It's life changing. And it's heartbreaking what you have to leave behind. It is absolutely heartbreaking. Like, oh my gosh, I invested nine or ten years in this person I put a decade into this job. I cannot believe that now after everything, I still cannot get peace. There's still drama. There's still jealousy. There's still envy. There's still just conflict, chaos, and it leaves you in confusion. And spirit is like, yeah, because I had to make you very uncomfortable for you to realize that you have to leave. The two of ones, you may be traveling. You may be relocating. That may just be what you have to do. Especially those of you who you want to go into a time in your life where you are connected with people. They come to the table with the same thing you have. This, this is not just about love. It's also like your soul family. 
You have spiritual gifts. You want to meet other people who have spiritual gifts, people who love you and they accept you for who you are. A lot of us is very like divine beings. Most people think that whatever you do is taboo or you're weird. You don't really fit in. You know, developing spiritual and psychic gifts and discernment, it automatically puts you in isolation. God himself will put you in a, in a period of isolation. And now it's time for you to go back in the world. But when you go back out, you need to connect with people who understand you. They know what you come with. So walking away from something, whether it's something in your life now or it's something from the past that you have to turn away from for good, like really close the chapter on this forever, it brings you justice. One second, guys. Hold on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I have to see this. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Two of Swords. Being stuck. Still main energy. But there's a truth coming that it's time for a change to come. But do you have the strength? You have to have the strength to block something out. And and this is the problem. Like, this for somebody, and it happens, really. I, I see this energy happen every year. Um, <laughs> especially with certain transits and everything. Um, I believe yesterday someone told me that Mars is in Libra. There's like justice. And, you know, I've been talking about Libra a lot. I'm like, I don't know what's going on with Libra. I don't know if it's people who have Libra South Node, North Node, if like what it is, but it's all about justice. It's all about balance right now. And there's something here that you, you're going to have to make a head over heart decision to to say no more because something in your life, it keeps coming in and it's corrupt. There's something corrupt here. It's a person. This could be friend, family member, lover, um, coworker, but something here is corrupt. Some something here is it's it's all it's a fleeting energy that comes in and the whole point of it is to steal something from you. That's it. Eight of Wands, yeah. You're gonna have to hightail it out of here. <laughs> Take a leap of faith so that you can have victory and success and move forward. And whatever this is, it may sit you down for a minute because I feel like it's it's so overwhelming that you may need to take time out to rest to retreat but again on the other side of whatever this is you will have the six of pentacles it's equal give and take you will have your own um abundance your own independence and you will be able to create now a happy healthy harmonious home where you can celebrate this card is like 11 11 energy you get to finally be a leader all of this instability you have to get rid of it because there is, I feel like for some of you, there's definitely a person in your life that's unstable. They're, they're, they can't get grounded. The three of wands is here. And it's like what you come, what's happening is it's a missed opportunity. Or you have a person that keeps trying to come into your life and you know that they're juggling you with someone else. You need to put an end to this because all it's doing is it's prohibiting you from having your own personal security, stability, and everything else. Like I said before, the only person that can truly give you unconditional love and allow you to be limitless is you because nobody else can really tell you what to do or not do. And some of you need to stop looking for approval. If a person doesn't like what you're doing, it doesn't matter. If your family doesn't like things that you're doing, it doesn't matter. To be honest, even if you have a business, if you want to change, you want to rebrand, I'm talking to myself even right now, and it was literally just 11, 11 on the clock. It's 11, 12 now. Um, when I, it, was, it was 11, 11 when I said 11, 11 here, and I promise I didn't see my phone. I just got a, a message. Um, you do what you need to do to brand yourself because this is your life. Nobody else can dictate and control and tell you how to run your business, what you should do in your career life, what you should do in your relationships. This is the collective now embracing what it really means to be limitless. 
It doesn't matter what, what the pastor at the church says. It doesn't matter. None of it matters now. All that matters is you getting yourself out of this hole and moving into whatever your North Node and your life purpose is. That's the only thing that matters. And you have this knight in shining armor, Prince Charming energy coming towards you if you're looking for love or this is you. You're finally about to open your heart up and you're going to receive an outpouring, like overflowing abundance of just love. And it's it's you finally, the Ten of Swords is what we started with. You finally get to open up your heart and you receive the Ten of Cups. You get blessed after all of this stress if you are willing to allow it. I'm seeing here, this is very specific for some of you. You're going to leave this person that's juggling you. You're, when you stop dealing with this person, what you're going to find out, and this is typical... <laughs> Mercury retrograde energy, whoever this person is, they could be from your past or you just have some kind of past life connection with them. As soon as you put an end to this person juggling you, I guarantee you they're going to go right back to the person that they told you that they're not juggling you with. I told you guys over two months ago, I said when Venus goes in retrograde, people are going to be leaving relationships, breaking up, going through all kinds of stuff. They're going to reach out to you. And before you know it, we had Mercury retrograde. When the retrograde is over, they're going to go right back home. Do not keep letting these snakes in your energy, in your life. That is the problem because everybody is so emotional. Well, oh my gosh, the emotions and it's so passionate. And we talked on the phone on that's not, that's not helping you have a life partnership. That person is going to go back and reconnect with someone from that, that they told you not to worry about. <laughs> you have to stop being a person's just breath of fresh air. While they're going through a temporary breakup. Because all this is that I'm really saying is a bunch of love bombing. And it seems like it comes from a person the reason why it's so heavy now is because a lot of you, you did a lot of healing work. And I'll be honest, you let you let somebody back in. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a friend or a family member. You did a lot of healing work. And you either refuse to let go of somebody or you let your guard down and you let somebody back in because you honestly thought that it was going to be different. What spirit is showing you right now is just because you went through your awakening and chose to change your ways doesn't mean everyone else did. And that is why discernment is so important now. Because you have some people, they change, but I'm telling you, it's only temporary. It's only long enough for them to come in and get what they want from you and then they're back out the door. Whoever this person is that's coming in, honestly, with this knight in shining armor type of energy, love bombing you, this is, for some of you, someone from the past. This person is still celebrating with this queen of wands. They are still with this person. Do not let them fool you. They are still with that person. And even if they've been separated, they could be legally separated. I'm telling you, they will go back to that person. So this person could be married for some of you. And they come in and they... They, they play with your emotions. They emotionally manipulate you and make you think that they're spiritual. They're ready for what you're ready for. Morals, values, character, everything is on point. And the whole, as soon as you tell this person, well, what about the other situation? Oh, they don't want to talk about it. They juggle you and then boom, when everything goes direct and you say, listen, I don't want to deal with that. I'm telling you, you're going to be the one that's going to start your healing process over. They're just going to go back home. This is, this is a warning for somebody who keeps getting stuck trying to figure out what do I do? Stop letting the same energy, the same spirit come in thinking that it's going to be different. Some of you, you keep getting tricked by the same spirit. And why is that? Because there's some, something here that's unhealed. You, something leaves you feeling defeated. 
This is like, oh, I don't think, I just don't know if I'm actually going to get the type of relationship that I want. Therefore, you keep settling for this third party. You keep settling for this I, this idea of this person is a twin flame or whatever. No, this person is someone that is emotionally manipulative. And I, I've been saying this a lot the last two weeks because it comes out every day. When you finally admit to yourself that you kissed the devil and you liked him, then you will be able to fully heal. When you finally admit to yourself, wow, I really got tricked in that one. The problem is too many people have been tricked and they keep getting tricked by the same person or the same spirit over and over and over. Why? Because there is something that you will not heal. It's an abandonment wound. It's a rejection wound. You've been conditioned by your family to think something and therefore you keep just repeating the same thing over and over and over again and that's what mercury retrograde came in to show you how many times are you going to do this mercury retrograde i promise i'm kid you not i had people who have contacted me that i have i'm talking friends family members lovers exes from from seven eight years ago <laughs> did answer the phone didn't respond to any text because I was I made a commitment to God. I said, I'm serious. I, I'm not doing this. When you get to that point, things will start to shift. And now when I a lot of time, when I see the readings about the I don't resonate with any of them. Past what? Past who? I don't see it anymore. Easier said than done. But I've been I've been preaching this for, for all of 2023. Let it go. And I'm not bashing people from the past because some of you, the truth is you have people from your past that are coming back who have grown, evolved, they've healed, they've changed. Test the spirit. If it's meant for you to deal with them, fine. But this message is for somebody you know you keep getting tricked by the same person. You know it. And this is the reason why the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. You may have some type of fear. There could be some type of insecurity. Look at that. The Hierophant. This is never going to turn into a marriage for some of you. The Six of Wands is in the reverse. The Queen of Pentacles. This right here. Red pill, blue pill. It's something like I told you. It's, if you drink this poison, it's going to kill you. You don't have the strength to, to, to go through another situation with whoever this person or this enemy or this energy or whatever it is. It's going to put you flat on your back. King of Wands in the reverse. Justice in the reverse. Empress, you better stand tall through this one. Like, I don't know who this message is for, but I'm. T it's like Tarot Church today on a Thursday. You're going to have to stand up and say, no, I'm not doing this. This it, literally every single day. I don't know who. Obviously, people are really struggling with this. You cannot do this. If you go into this situation it's going to literally set you back another 10 years of your life, possibly more. And some of you right now, you're at a place in your life. It's, it's, it's do or die. It's make or break. You got to ask, do you really have another 10 years to give to somebody? Can you really stand to walk around in the dark, in the wilderness? Or are you trying to go to your promise land? Like, what are you really trying to do? Because if you let this energy in, you will be the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who could be lazy. They're not motivated. They're insecure. They re they neglect their responsibilities. The Queen. This could be a man or a woman. Somebody also too. You could be dealing with someone. They are married or connected to a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone who is lazy. They don't take care of home. They don't take care of things. This could be a man doesn't protect, doesn't provide. These people live some kind of unconventional lifestyle. I think spirit I'm, is showing me this couple. Somebody in this in this relationship is lazy. They, they don't take care of things, whether it's the man or the woman. And now they have an unconventional lifestyle. This what this is, is a couple that is married for a lot of you. You are dealing with a person that is in a situation where they're unhappy. They know for a sure fact, like this, the, whatever relationship, marriage they're in, it's a total disgrace to this person. But they betrayed you to be in this type of relationship. 
They wanted to have a lot of different options. And what they've decided to do now with this person is to have multiple options. This married couple or this per this couple that's together because of family or or religion or whatever, they live they have an unconventional lifestyle. They're free, they have an this is an open marriage. And some of you you think that by you being limit okay, thank you spirit. You think that by you being limitless and being free, a free spirit that you have to settle for Possibly someone telling you that you need to be in a third party. If you do not want to be in a poly relationship, then you don't you don't need to settle for this. This is someone coming out in this reading who is very much married. They're in an arrangement. They're not letting go of that other person and they will backstab and portray you forever. And this person likes to create illusions. This is someone who does not believe in being with one person. So if you want the whole family monogamous type of thing, you need to stop dealing with this person once and for all because they are never going to commit to you. This is someone who has been in a relationship with someone else for 10 years or more and I get they they're not married. This person does not believe in marriage. They need multiple options. They this person has dreams and fantasies and they have already just made up their mind. One person cannot fulfill their fantasies and their dreams. I don't care about whether or not you're a divine feminine or masculine. You cannot save this person. You cannot help this person. You are not going to make this person get on your path. Please leave this person alone. Some of you think that you're going to have more freedom if you deal with the type of person that's just flamboyant and out here living their life all willy nilly. That has nothing to do with you. Because if that's not who you are as a person, you're just going to inherit all of their karma. So you're going to have to be brave enough to turn this, whatever this is, down. Because the king of wands in the reverse, this person next to the strength, heavy fire. There's a lot of passion in this situation. And it's very hard for you at times to deny the type of passion that you have. This person takes you on the wild side. They make you feel free. And I'm not saying for some of you, if that's what you want, go for it. But for those of you who you know you don't want to do this, you don't want to live this way. You don't need to go and, and you're going to tie yourself into something very dark. Justice is in the reverse. Some of you, what I'm really getting is your idea of being spiritual, your idea of being limitless. And this is the problem now with the spiritual community even. A lot of people, when they talk about being limitless and all of that, um, having this awareness, everyone is pushing this narrative now. Oh, yeah, you can you can be with multiple people and, you know, you don't have to believe in marriage. A lot of different perceptions are, are being taught that is changing people's reality. If you at your core know that you don't want to be married, and you're willing to be a swinger in a poly relationship, whatever, go for it. If you want to be in interracial, interculture, um, same sex, whatever kind of relationship, that's everybody's business. My thing is this. Don't let other people or society force you into thinking that you have to do this simply because you have not found what you wanted just yet. Because I feel like what I'm talking to right now is a, a collective of, of a lot of people who are strong, but... You're you're falling into like this naive, gullible way of thinking that, well, you know, I've been waiting so long and the ten of swords is in my back. I'm at rock bottom. Eh, it's probably not so bad if I just go ahead and be somebody's third party for the rest of my life. No, you don't have to do that. This is a big test for you. This is is a karmic situation, whatever it is, and it's not fair. But whoever this is, that many of you, I've been talking about this this deadly soul tie. The passion with this person, you're like, you, you can't give over it. It's so much passion here. It always makes you wonder, like, how can something that makes me feel so free be so be so bad for me? This is something that really is bad for you. Look, four cups, spirit is saying, reject it, please walk away. The hermit in the reverse. You need to withdraw from this situation. And somebody could, like, be trying to manifest you. They could even be using magic. 
This whole reading, really, it's a lot of you. It's about a person that you're connected to that's in an unhappy relationship. They keep trying to manifest you, but they don't want to be committed to you. They only want you around as, as some type of sex slave or or some, somebody for them to like steal all your energy. Look at that. The Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. Ten of Cups in the reverse. But the Ten of Wands is upright. It's a burden. This person is unhappy. That's it. They're unhappy. They're losing opportunities. They're upset too because they lost an opportunity with you. There is no balance here. This person is just going to juggle you because I'm they're not letting go of whoever this other person is. When this person, two of wands, when they all of a sudden don't have energy to make decisions. Eight of cups in the reverse. They, they can't move on from you. You inspire this person. So this person just comes in to fill up on your energy. But see, now you're going to have to say, no, you can't have my energy anymore. The world card is in the reverse. So the world card in the reverse means that something here is not completing. You cannot allow this person to drain your energy. This almost feels like somebody right now is doing a ritual. And the star card, this person is nude on this card. This person is doing some type of ritual right now, I feel, for some of you. Well, they're trying to drain your energy. You need to close down all of your energy and make sure that you do not allow this person to steal your energy. They're going to steal your energy and they're going to take it back to this unhealthy marriage. The King of Cups is in the reverse. You definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody who has a lot of Scorpio in their chart. They are doing death magic on you so that they can come in and steal your energy. This person, the Two of Wands, is in the reverse. Don't allow your fear of change or the fact that you feel restricted because you haven't gotten the happiness that you want to allow this person to steal from you. This is an urgent message because somebody is doing this like right now or they've been actively. Somebody here is participating in a ritual where I'm, they are trying to drain the life out of you. They're trying to drain all of your life force energy, all of your sacred energy, all of your sexual energy. You're going to have to be resilient right now and take action. And if you do that, then you will come into true love. If love is what you want or you will come into the partnerships and work, career, finances that you're looking for. But this, this is all bad. And it's really, really, really pissing me off. Seriously. The Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. Knight of Cups. This person is not bringing you anything. And y'all who follow my channel, my car, I don't read cars in, in reverse. But the cars fell off, fell down and on the floor, which is weird. Um, and and a lot of my cars are just in the reverse and I've just been rolling with it. But obviously Spirit did that because it, it's certain messages that you need to hear. I can read my cars whether they're upright or not because I can recognize the energy. But the cars, you, you, it, it's not my intuition. Even the car, if, if you don't trust my intuition, the cars are telling you stay away from this i had to, i'm not even gonna speak on that i will say though that there are messages that i've been channeling because i've been channeling things in a different way lately um that just show some really wicked stuff and when i tell you there are a lot of setups and plots behind the scenes and some heavy heavy black magic somebody is is not willing to stop at anything i don't know if this is someone that is possibly like a high ranking like some type of spiritualist a satanist if this is a preacher that's married but wants to be with somebody i don't know what this is but somebody is determined to have the energy of someone this person doesn't want a relationship with you they want your energy but they're taking this energy back somewhere i don't that's the problem this person is taking your energy to, to fuel a business they're putting it into a congregation this could be a preacher they're stealing from somebody spiritual somebody is just taking energy it, it seems like a person's energy is being divvied up amongst people they're like oh well take that person's energy and we're going to put this into the church take this person's energy we're going to put it into the marriage take this person's energy we're going to have finances off of them somebody your your energy is being like drained like it, it feels like somebody has your picture up and they're all worshiping you to like get your energy. That's what it really feels like.
that's so that, but that's what it literally feels like somebody is like worshiping you either they're, they're worshiping you or they're worshiping some type of goddess or deity or something like that okay maybe that they're worshiping some type of because i'm seeing the picture it's like a picture or a statue but somebody is doing like i'm assuming like heavy altar work on you they're worshiping some type of goddess this could be oh I, I channeled something the other day about like Oshun, mommy watch or somebody they're worshiping some type of goddess or a deity in orisha or something and they're using your like the energy of whatever they're worshiping to also get your energy that's what this is i don't think you know that this person does this but that's what they do they're they, they're not leaving whatever conventional relationship they're in their traditional life they're not leaving that but they're they're not going to stop tapping into your energy either you need to put up some type of protection like immediately this is a to me this it feels very urgent Yeah, I might have to post their other reading. I'm gonna have to post their other reading. I did that reading two days ago, but I had downloads of different things, and I, I for some reason I, I I can't always post messages because people watch these readings and they um. They try to get information on how to further attack people. But the very first thing that came out was SIDS. Someone, something could have happened to someone's child or it will. Um, I'm just going to go over this and I'm going to close this reading. I'm going to think about posting the other reading. Um, but th whatever this is, it's serious. And I know it's related to, to this because this is a couple that's doing this. These people are into like... Um, they worship something. I don't know what they worship or who, but somebody has you on an altar. They're doing some kind of ritual and they're trying to take your energy. So I got, um, SIDS. And if you see this reading, if I decide to post the other reading, you will see this in there too. I'm not going to go through everything on here, but I got there. A black G wagon is significant. The, the R and B artist Vito and the song, You Got It, the number four, Virgo, Beyonce, musician, influencer, someone could be a reader, Oshun. I was seeing a lot of like Beyonce, um, the color yellow, Home Depot, anal sex, ritual, um, something about a baby, a brain aneurysm, someone stutters. I was getting a heart monitor. Something just kept going beep, beep. This could have been a refrigerator. A freezer, a heart monitor, the number 919999 kept coming out. Something about scattered or isolated thunderstorms. And, and Spirit was very specific about it being scattered and isolated. So that means that a storm is here, but it's not there. Um, that's water. That's emotions. Take it how it resonates. Something is, is going to be sudden. You have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Leo. Someone is a gym addict or they recently like joined the gym. Somebody, I have here proposal, shotgun, wedding, and DL. Somebody could be trying to quickly marry someone. So somebody, I've been getting there too. Like someone is trying to manifest marrying a person. They're trying to manifest marrying someone. And I was getting a bunch of messages last night. And I could tell that it was like, it was just scattered. Very, very scattered. And I was like, wait a minute, this, No. Something you can just tell something isn't right. So some of you, when it comes to your telepathy, you need to be careful because there's a person. What they're doing is they're sending you thoughts. They're trying to communicate with you telepathically to disguise themselves like they're your person and they're not. So you you will start to get in this energy like, oh wow, you know, it could be a song you hear, whatever. It's not this person. Um, back to this though, we have Adult Swim. Somebody could like cartoons. Someone listens to tr true crimes. Or like talk radio. I got BBL, IG baddie. Someone has natural hair. Someone has blonde hair. Okay. Now there's two women who are being compared. 
somebody is looking at someone possibly on IG, somebody, like I said, someone is natural and the other person is maybe more flashy. Maybe they're considered like IG baddie or something like that. So again, there's someone who looks at a person like it's their fantasy. They want to have fun. They want to have this fantasy life, but maybe they're with more of like a, a homebody or you could... You know, I don't know. Maybe the person that they're with is more like the IG baddie and you're more natural. And maybe they passed up on you in the, at some point because they're like, well, you're a plain Jane. I don't really want to deal with that person. Or you're a guy. They're like, well, you're a nice guy. I want a bad boy. It's something like that. I was hearing, I think it's that song, Vito, yeah, you my little baby, I'm going to make it known. So somebody is trying to send you a message that they're going to be with you. They're going to marry you. They're going to show you off to everybody, this and that and third. And I don't, I don't think it's true. It's like you. there's more than one energy. Like somebody means that. But, okay, this person who is trying to send you this message to make you think about them what they're doing is they're inserting thoughts into your mind to make you think that like they're gonna just take you away and, and y'all are gonna run off in the sunset they're gonna finally marry you and do this and do that they're only doing that because like i said red pill blue pill you actually have someone else in your energy that's gonna do that and they mean it but that person could be going through things in their life too Nobody is perfect, but like I said, you, one of these pills is straight poison. One comes with the antidote. This person that's poisonous, that will kill you, which we already saw here, they will kill you. I'm telling you, this is the person that's working so hard. And that's like very much like satanic with the devil trying to insert thoughts into your mind. They are not real. They're not true. This person is trying to get you to power up energetically they're doing some kind of altar work or ritual they're like yeah if they could just get you to believe that like they're going to love you and adore you and you forgive them that's the way that's the way that this person beats karma and the way that they um can 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 pull your energy in for them to steal it because if you still are like oh i really like that person or i'm really missing them and you start to feel nostalgic that's why this person, they're keeping this cycle open like this. What does it say? Something, oh, a flash of memories before you die. Somebody could be passing away because even the way I got this message, it was like everything was coming, like boom, 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 boom. Somebody is before, like before, you know how they say before you die, like all, everything just kind of flashes. Somebody here is going to, boom, they're just going to see everything. And I did see earlier, like sudden, something is sudden, like a crash and burn. It's very sudden. A G-Wagon, somebody could have a car crash. Mm. And they're going to know why this is happening or it's happening to someone that they know. It's because of what they've been doing to somebody. Investments, cryptocurrency, um, condo, the godfather of Harlem. What is this? I can't even, y'all can see like. I can't even understand this, but this is how the message came. It was late the other night. I, I post a lot. Like, I'll get a lot of downloads. I, I just, I can't post everything. I just can't. Somebody is saying, you made, you, I heard you made me kill them. You made me do it. I had to. So somebody, this is like passion, crime, energy I'm getting. Um, I kept seeing like Jay-Z. Like that, the symbol that he holds up, the all sign, the all seeing eye could be significant. The number five, so somebody definitely could be in, um, like into the occult. Like they could be, this could be, um, what is it called? Like Freemason, Satanist, something. Somebody is into some kind of secret society, one hundred percent. Um, I heard you're childish. Somebody can't sleep. They're going tear for tat. Stop. Somebody is, was saying, stop throwing it in my face. I was hearing, I was hearing the argument between two people and this person was like, but that was a long time ago. And the woman, 
something here else about a black SUV. There's a black SUV that's very significant. I got Car Chronicle. Somebody sits in the car and talks a lot. Also, somebody sits in the driveway or they sit in the car. Some of you, like I said, you're dealing with someone or you dealt with someone in the past. This person sits in a car and talks to you. They can't talk to you around in the house because they're married or whatever the case is. So it's always Car Chronicles. And this person could, could have a black SUV. What? We already tried that. If it wasn't her, then who? I was also picking up something too, where someone is questioning a masculine about where they've gone. I feel like for some of you, there's a masculine in your energy. This person throws you up to another person. Masculine could be male or female. Somebody brings up a person in their life or from their past to make whoever they are actually committed to jealous. And someone is, this person, I feel like whoever this person is who's possibly in this committed relationship or married, they've been cheating with other people because remember we have the seven of cups. They cheat with a lot of different people, but they are making this person that they're with believe that they're cheating with like a divine feminine and they're not. But that's making the other person mad and upset and possibly spiritually attack this divine feminine. And for some of you guys, this is, this is just a lot of channeling. This could be one situation with you. This could be several different situations that you resonate with. Take it however it resonates. Um, but somebody is asking a person, so if it wasn't her, then who? Oh, then HIV or AIDS came up. So somebody could have contracted a STD, STI, HIV, or AIDS, and they may have, somebody may have tried to say that it came from an innocent person. And their person now is asking them, so if it wasn't that person, then who was it? The little man and little mama is significant. I don't know if somebody calls their kids little man or little mama or if somebody calls you or another person little mama. Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Leo, Virgo. There's a church coven if you tell me. No. So somebody said if you tell... If you tell the truth, then that's an admission to guilt. So now, see, it's always a reason why spirit does. I didn't post that reading because it was so all over the place. This is this is more clarity. Somebody has lied and said that a person gave them a disease or something. They lied to their partner. So this is like a married person, someone committed. They have a family. They stepped out. Possibly they, they could be involved with something in the occult sex rituals or something like that. They've contracted HIV or AIDS from someone, but they went back and they they told this person that it was a divine feminine or masculine that gave them this this disease. They did that because they know that whoever they are married or committed to has a problem with this divine feminine or masculine. And somebody has found out like, no, that person doesn't have anything. I don't know if this person went to a reader or what, but they're like, no, that person doesn't have anything. So if it wasn't her or him that you got it from, where did it come from? Somebody here, all of their lives have got, has just caught up to this person. What is this? The color blue could be significant dreams. Somebody is actual traveling or projecting into someone's dreams. Atlanta, California, Detroit, Chicago, Florida, I got Rolling Stone, Stone, Ninja, Airplane, Red Snapper. Oh, 1111. That's confirmation because we saw 1111 today. Chopsticks and noodles. So somebody may like Asian food, Thai food, something. Jail food is on here in Cheetos. Somebody likes curly fries. Something about a freezer. The Crown Plaza Hotel. Somebody has either had a stillborn, a miscarriage, they could have aborted a child, or somebody's child could have passed away because of SIDS or something like that, or this was going to happen. Black SUVs, G-Wagon, blue car, somebody is into gymnastics. I got Jordans, skates, angry sex. Somebody is saying that they're not leaving. I got the name Yvette. That could be somebody's middle name, but Yvette also makes me think about the movie Baby Boy. So somebody could just have a really toxic connection. 
event and, and everything you guys is a cryptic message so something could happen to someone's baby boy what is this something about real estate countertops freezers appliances um sippy cup a stanley cup you know like the the night the stanley cups that a lot of people have minivan brake lines something about an apple watch somebody's saying but i just need consistency so somebody feels like they i feel like somebody's trying to do a, a ritual so that they can consistently tap into your energy or you may have told someone like i need consistency i have here queen vibes somebody says yo a lot like yo what the f Somebody said, um, I thought you stopped. I don't know if this was like, I thought you stopped smoking, drinking. Somebody said, I thought you stopped. Or I thought you stopped doing the magic. I th somebody, somebody is questioning somebody like, I thought you wasn't doing that anymore. Um, why, why the F are you watching readings on her? Now, I don't know if this is a man asking... I don't know who this is, but somebody is asking, why are you watching readings on her? So somebody could definitely watch tarot. And somebody, this person responded. So, yeah, somebody said, shut the F up about this. I don't have to tell you. This person curses. I don't have to tell you anything, we'll say. This person told someone, I made you and you still talking about her. So somebody is is um like a dictator, a very narcissist. Narciss they they're telling this person that they're married and committed to. Like if you have the money, you have the we live together, whatever. Then you pretty they're pretty much saying you can't talk, you can't ask me about this other person that I'm cheating with. But somebody has contracted something, and they blamed an innocent person. And now the person is realizing, you know what this could be. When you think about all of the things that will come out in readings, somebody has lied and said that they contracted like a disease or something like that from possibly a divine feminine or masculine. When this karmic person went and told whoever that they're with, that person started attacking this divine feminine or, or masculine. And the truth is coming out there like, no, this person didn't contract anything. This divine feminine or masculine doesn't have any diseases. They're living their life. They're just fine. And somebody is like, okay, so if that's not the person who did this, then who did it? Because we've been trying to do all to work and get rid of this person. And you mean to tell me that like that wasn't true? Or this is even because somebody out here gets around a lot. That's the truth. Someone, Someone's actions is catching up to them. The Ten of Swords and the, the Seven of Cups. The very first card out was the Ten of Swords. There's a big lie amongst a group of people in a community these people may work together these could be swingers somebody is really trying to figure out where exactly did they get this this incurable disease from and you know we've had a lot of readings of people being scapegoated like in crimes you know to go out and knowingly give someone hiv and AIDS, that's a crime and i feel that somebody has been telling people a lot like yeah this person they gave this to me and maybe somebody came to see you okay maybe you guys went on a trip because i'm thinking about earlier when i said some of you you're like wow you, you may regret that like you talked to this person or you did something you met up with them it almost feels like someone wow wow you know what i'm getting somebody literally set up like a meeting with you or a trip with you and it was to stage it to make it look like you gave them something oh my gosh This is this is really deep, though, the way this person did this, because I'm wondering if anybody even has anything. You know what? It almost feels like a person staged a trip or a meet or something with you to make it seem like you had something like you gave them because they knew that they are probably already had something. If this person has something, God spared you. You didn't get anything, but they either was going to try to give you something I don't know if they were trying to give you something, to be honest. They could have, but I feel like what this person wanted to do was they wanted the, the, the time, the date, and everything else to add up and make it look like, oh, well, yeah, I was on a trip with that person or I did something with that person. So when they went back home and the other person questioned them, 
they they were able to put it on you because whoever they're with, they know that this person is really, really into you. But you're not the person that has anything to do with this. They scapegoated you or they tried to. No, I mean, I feel like they did. And this has led to an entire community of people possibly saying that like you did something like everyone is constantly saying that you're like the culprit that you're something is because of you and you're completely innocent this type of slander defamation of character um even if a lot of people don't know about it i feel like in the spirit this person is going to be completely destroyed for what they did because for some of you, I'm even getting, it's like something is, there's something that has been attached to your name, to who you are as a person. And that could be the reason why you're not meeting people. Oh, this is like, this is big. This is bad. It's real ugly. Yeah. Somebody has went out and tried to create something. I don't know if they created an account, a group chat, a profile. Somebody went out and was like, yeah, you know, you need to be careful of this person because I heard this person has such and such, such and such or something like that. And that is like people have probably been like, oh, you know, don't deal with this individual or whatever the case may be. This is a lie. Or for some of you, somebody may have had pictures of you or something like that. They've gone out, they've shared these pictures, they've done something. And the whole point was to stage it like. You did something. I'm even. I just heard specific Photoshop. Somebody could have been photoshopping messages or something like that, and it was all to make it seem like you did something that you had nothing to do with. This could have been something that happened in the past, and it, it feels like some type of energy. Like they took your energy and they tried to attach something to you. So all of the people that you're meeting could be connected because these people definitely are in some kind of secret society they're sending people towards you or they're just sending some type of energy towards you so that like in your community you meet like very low vibing like evil people and it has a lot to do these it has a lot to do with sex something about your energy could be very pure these people it's like they want to contaminate you like they they want to they they want the mark of the beast on you it's what they want this is sick. It's like, you mean to tell me you did all of this? But see, there's still a big secret here about who this is. And what I'm really getting, I have to be honest. What I'm really getting here is there is a man out here who is married. This person is either very religious or they're into the occult, secret society, something. This person has contracted a disease or something possibly from someone of the same sex but they knew that their person that they've been with their main person has a problem with a divine feminine or masculine so they staged it to look like their divine feminine or masculine gave them something the reason why they would do that is because it's like, well, if I if I if I have contracted something, it will be easier to make it to make it seem like they got it from their long lost law, um, love of the same sex versus they actually contracted it from some, their long their their hidden lover of the same sex. So this person knew that a situation was going to catch up to them, but they were still trying to control the narrative and this whole situation now. It's completely out of control and the the whole truth is gonna because people are trying to figure out now why is this happening there somebody's like there's something here that's not adding up because whoever this innocent person is divine feminine or masculine they keep doing rituals and everything and they're like well nothing is happening to this person because when it goes back to karma and universal law nothing is gonna happen to this person because they never did anything they're not guilty as you've charged them dummy like This has been coming out for like a year. This is the lie. And it's, you, whoever this resonates with, you're finally going to get justice. And I'm assuming that because it keeps coming out of the reading, it's a lot of people going through this.